So it's day 24 of the Trail of Transformation. It's chilly out, 30 degrees and uh, some frost, but uh, Chris and I are here enjoying a very good cup of Vanilla Caramel Cafe uh, before we get started on our, uh, on our hike today. Okay, so it's the end of day 24. It's been a really crazy day and I want to get you caught up on exactly what happened. So what about 12 hours ago we were uh, having vanilla caramel coffee along that beautiful stream in uh, Yosemite <laughs> Park and we hiked about six miles to Tuolumne Meadows which is kind of in the high end of uh, Yosemite. Our plan was to do the 26 mile hike down to Yosemite Valley. That's where Bridal Veil Falls and Half Dome and mm -hmm. some of you are familiar with that. It's like 26 miles from up there to get down there. Uh, at the ranger station at Tuolumne Meadows, we talked to the rangers and they strongly discouraged it because of a winter storm coming in tonight. Snow and ice at the higher elevation, rain at the lower and they said, you know, this is when we get our helicopter rescues. Mm -hmm. This is what we're preparing for is helicopter rescues for hikers like you mm -hmm. that uh, try to do this descent down into Yosemite Valley. So for us, it's always been safety first. And so we made the decision um, to not do that three day hike. That was gonna be the end of our entire hike. And so um, so we made some other arrangements. And you, yeah, Chris. Yeah, went. so we get off the trail and get on the highway, we start hitchhiking and we uh you know there's this idea of god's angels that take care of us and we put out our thumb and lo and behold some folks from denmark pick us up and they bring us uh down to yosemite valley it was really great uh, great tribe great people very generous uh then we had to figure out what the next steps were and so we got ourselves a shuttle to two hours and 20 minute shuttle to um, merced and uh, thank goodness that uh, we got out here and everything's good. And now tomorrow, planning on taking off at uh, San Francisco SFO um, Airport and get an Uber all the way to San Francisco. About another two hours, I think, Tom. Yeah. And so we both have flights home. Uh, me to Phoenix and Chris to Green Bay. And uh, our wives don't know it. It's going to be a little surprise to be home a few mm. days early. So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so our, our trip is ending early. It's not the way we expected it, but for safety reasons, we think that's the right thing to do. Um, I wanted to, we're not, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a post-trip uh, get together, Chris and I, and we wanna invite you to join us for that, uh, to really get a good closure to the trip. 
But Chris, if there is one word without description, like one word that would describe the trip that we've had this last month for you, what would that word be? Well, I don't know if this is a Spanish word, but I would say glorioso. <laughs> It's glorious. 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 Yeah. I understood it, whether it is or not. <laughs> um, that's great. And for me, it would be, I think, accomplishment. And uh, so there's a lot, you know, packed into those words for oh, each yeah. of us, and we'll share more about that um, at our get at our get together. Um, so, but for now, uh, just thank you for joining us. Uh, whether it was a few days or you've been with us the entire trip, uh, it's been a great trip for us. We hope you've enjoyed it. And um, we will, like I said, we'll have a post-trip uh, inter- you know, conversation that we will invite you to. Thank you very much. So I've been saving three of the brightest stars of Outreach 360 to share with you here at the end of the trip. And these are three incredible young people from Hinotega, Nicaragua, who have passed extensive requirements in order to qualify for a scholarship with Outreach 360. All three of these students are attending Southern New Hampshire University, we call it SNU, and they are volunteering at the Outreach 360 English, the Virtual English Academy, but they are also going to school. Dulce Auraus is studying psychology, Belen Zeledon is studying graphic design, and Byron Gutierrez is also studying graphic design. So I'm very honored to present to you these three students. We'll give you a quick overview of how Outreach 360 donors and their scholarship is impacting their lives. Hello, my name is Dulce Genesis Arauz Diaz. I'm a 19 year old from Hinotea, Nicaragua. Outreach 360 has made it possible for me to study at SNHU. I'm currently studying psychology uh, with a focus in children and adolescent development. I believe that uh, without this great opportunity, I'm pretty sure that my life would have been different, very, very different. English has just opened up a bunch of doors throughout my life. It's been an amazing opportunity for me. If I, if I would like to tell you about it, it would be too long video, but I just want to quickly thank you so much for this because I am of the few people in my country, in my city that have this great opportunity and I'm sure that I, I, I really would like to benefit other people in the future through this opportunity. So thank you so much for your support, your love and your kindness to support the program. I urge you uh, to continue to with your generous spirit. So thank you so much. You're making a dream come true to me. Hello everyone, my name is Belen and I am one of the Adelante students in Nicaragua. I'm currently 21 years old and I'm studying graphic design and media arts at Southern New Hampshire. I started my journey with Outreach 360 when I was only nine years old and my biggest aspiration was to learn how to speak English. The organization did not only enable me to achieve that dream, but it also opened my mind to new experiences and goals. Now I can say that my biggest dream is not to speak English, but it's actually to communicate with it. I hope in the future to become a graphic designer that is able to evoke feelings through their designs. And without the opportunity given to me by Outreach 360 to study in the American University, I wouldn't have been able to open my horizons and aspire for more. I wouldn't have been able to discover my full potential. Therefore, I am extremely grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Byron. I am from Nicaragua. I live in a small city in the north part of my country called Hinotega. And I want to talk a little bit about my journey with Outreach 360. So I've been part of this organization for more than 11 years now and I got the chance to study English and at the same time to improve myself as a person. Currently, I'm studying graphic design and media arts at Southern New Hampshire University and it has been such an amazing experience. I got the chance to meet new people and this is a unique experience not only for me but also for my family 
because this is an opportunity that I know my parents would have liked to have when they were young. So I'm here studying, putting my effort, working hard every single day. And I'm so thankful with the organization because this has been a life changing decision for me and my family. So thank you so much. And there's another uh, very important way that people can get involved with Outreach 360, either organizations, corporations, even individuals, to assist with our career mentoring program. And to explain this program uh, a little bit further, Byron Gutierrez uh, will share a few words with you. Everybody, my name is Byron Gutierrez. I'm going to talk a little bit about our innovative virtual career mentoring program. Our students get the incredible chance to engage with professionals from diverse industries and partners all around the world. I have had the honor of facilitating this 60 to 90 minutes visit. And I believe that these interactions are very positive as they allow our students to learn about different careers and companies. We believe that inspiration is essential for learning. Students often wonder why study English, and this is where you come in. Your stories and experiences are a bridge between our virtual classroom and the real world. And by interacting with the students, we can show them how English is applied in the daily work environment. We can share how English communication will open doors for them and allow them to connect with people from all over the world. By meeting professionals from their company, students can ask direct questions and gain real insight into what you do. This will help them set concrete education goals and focus on their English learning in a more meaningful way. By joining us, you will be contributing to the development of future bilingual professionals while inspiring our youth to pursue their dreams and strive in their English learning. For our students, having professionals like yourself on site is not just informative, but highly inspirational. They can see real life examples of successful professionals who have achieved their goals thanks to English. We look forward to sharing our experiences and knowledge with these talented students. Together, we can help build a brighter and more global future for everyone. Thank you so much. As of today, we have raised $26,700 of our $60,000 fundraising target. Thank you for your donations. You can see in our three star students from Hinotega the impact your donation has. If you haven't donated to the Trail of Transformation yet, I encourage you to make a donation today. Thank you. I am dedicating the last day of our hike to the future of Outreach 360, which is being created by the three Outreach 360 employees, Coco Barrett, Alma Fleipes, and Adi Jalfin. You have heard from both Coco and Alma earlier in this video series. CEO and President Coco's experience and leadership are key to Outreach 360's future as is Outreach 360 Director Alma's Latin American experience in the areas of social work, psychology, and culture. Outreach 360's third employee, Academic Director Adi Jalfin, has responsibility for managing the Virtual English Academy, including the academic platform and volunteer and student training. It's a huge job and critical to the future success of Outreach 360. Thank you, Coco, Alma, and Adi.